So I've been thinking, and I think I want to switch up this area of my room. Specifically, I want to move this flag over there. I measured it with my arms. It's not going to fit entirely perfect over there, but it'll, I'll just move it in a few inches. And then, I don't know, I have this Fall Out Boy and this Use poster. I don't know if I want to keep it up. It's been there since I was like, or I've had it since I was like 16, probably 15, 14, maybe. I just, I don't know. But everything over here is just gonna go over here. And then I'm gonna put a mirror right there on the wall. Because ever since I got this bed, which it's a mess right now, ignore it. Ever since I got this bed, it's a lot wider than my other one. This is a full, I used to have a twin. And I used to be able to take pictures, like full body pictures in this mirror right here. But I can't do that anymore. And I miss doing that. And I would like to take full body pictures again because I want to show off the fit sometimes. So I'm going to put a mirror on this wall. I'm hoping it can just go right here above the garbage, which is why this is going to go over there. And then like those two posters over here, maybe that poster over there or next to it. I don't know. I'll figure something out. All I know is that this is going to get switched up today. That just means that I need to go to Target today to get yet another mirror. Now you're probably like, why don't you just move that one over? Well, I like mirrors, okay? They make the room look bigger and maybe I like to stare at myself. I don't know. All I know is that I really do like this one right here just because it does feel like it opens up the room a bit more. So I need to go to Target to get the mirror and I also need to get those little like command strip things. So I'm gonna get that Target run over with. I'm back. I have my mirror. This is the third one of these that I have bought in. I have another one in black and another one in white. Can you stop being a crackhead? That's my shirt. I just bought that. And I have my command strips. So. You are going to stop being a crackhead and get out of here. Can you get your paw away from my freaking lips? It's really gross. Oh, the chin, that's better. I'm gonna start with taking all of this stuff down. Ugh. I think I'm gonna need a hammer because those pins are like flat as shit and I can't get my nails underneath them. Well. I have my nails short, so I can't get my fingers underneath them. Oh, Jesus Christ. What did I do? Fucking super glue them in? There we go, got it. All right. I need, I have a shot glass, I can put these in. Can you get off my bed, please? Would anybody like a shot? It'll make your throat itch and bleed a little bit, but you know, other than that, it's pretty easy going down. The way in which I'm sweating right now should be illegal. How am I supposed to get this out? I suppose that was pretty easy. Well, my wall is absolutely disgusting, so I, I should probably clean it. I'm just gonna spray it with some cleaner shit and just give it a wipe down. I'm a ding dong. I just got a better idea. I'm gonna put that over there and then that over there. That'll fit better. Except first, oh my God, I need to put my hair up because I'm dying. Whew.
Okay, I think this is all I'm gonna do so far. My room looks very, very plain and it's kind of spazzing me out because I'm not used to that. I did take a lot of stuff down. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those paintings yet. I will, I'll figure something out, but I'm thinking what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna go on Redbubble and I'm gonna try to find just like some, some prints like these and just kind of put them all over here in a line. Maybe find another poster for on top. Can you not play with that? Thank you. And then probably just more down the side here. I'm, you're gonna get, you're gonna get it. But I think overall, I'm not upset with how it turned out. I'm just happy that I have a full length mirror again. And now I kind of maybe have an excuse. Stop it. Now I maybe have an excuse to spend some money and get some more things for my room. Good morning. I am just finishing up my morning stretches. My cat is chilling where she always is. Hi, hello, good morning. She's looking at me like she didn't bother me at 6.30 in the fucking morning, trying to get food, which like, bitch, me too. Since my hips are like really bad, I really wanna work on like strengthening slash stretching the outer part of my hips because Doing that exercise where you're like, you know, laying on your side and like lifting your legs up and shit. I will do that with the fucking, one second, let me, feels weird. I will do that with a resistance band and oh my fucking God, that shit hurts. Like I can't fucking do it. Yeah, I really need to start incorporating that into my leg days more. I think maybe even like when I do cardio and stuff, like just do that like before or after. Cause yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. I know the more I do it and the more I also do like split squats it's gonna get easier but abductors are the outside ones right no adductors are the middle so abductors okay yeah abductors i need I, okay that's what i need to fucking stretch my abductors okay abductors stretches bitch that's adductors i didn't ask for that i know i do like i've done like 90 90s oh jesus i've done like 90 90s before but if i ugh, i feel like i feel that where am i feeling this oh okay wait if i do this I feel so fucking ridiculous trying to figure out this I kind of feel it I just it's just a really weird uh, position okay well, whatever let's just do this <sighs> that took way too goddamn long so anyways yeah that last clip that you guys saw was filmed god honestly like what three weeks ago at this point probably I don't even know <laughs> I didn't even plan on filming it in the first place. I was just like, oh, this might be a fun thing. And then I was gonna turn it into like a whole, like, I don't know, like redoing my room, going through my clothes, spring reset cleaning, whatever type of video. To be honest, a lot of the clothes that I have to go through is just like socks and underwear and stuff. And like, as much as I am a very open and blunt person and unashamed, I also just don't wanna show my pantalones on, on YouTube. The worst part is I probably have at some point, but whatever. The main reason I wanted to come on here and like, talk really quick is because uh yeah the thing that i was afraid of happening is starting to happen oh that's fucking tight as shit good lord all right yeah my I, I always felt like my left side was fucked anyways um the thing that i was afraid of happening is starting to happen aka me posting every week and then kind of like running out of things to post which is kind of sad because honestly it's only been like what like a month or something <laughs> a month and a half maybe it does sound like kind of sad but honestly like it really is hard to like one film content like sit down content and stuff because that requires me like waking up pretty early getting ready early like i want to do all like my morning stuff i want to read and all that fun shit and then i have to like do my makeup and then it's like i really don't have time for breakfast on those days and i have to wait for like my parents to leave or my mom to leave i just say my dad's already gone but then i gotta set everything up and it's just like it's just such a long process and it's not like i hate it or anything it's just it can be a little bit like daunting sometimes and then when it comes to like vlogging and stuff which is generally like oh, fuck, the easier thing to do like even that's kind of difficult because i i do gen genuinely just do the same things all the time. It sounds like a like a sad existence, maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it does, I don't know. But I, I do like having the routine. And then it's also like if I, like, cause like I have been like hanging out with people and stuff, it, some of them are new people and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna sit there and be like, mm -hmm, can you vlog this? Like, shut up. So I think what I'm maybe gonna do is just like go to posting every other Wednesday. 
every other week and then if I just so happen to like have an idea or have an extra video then I will just like randomly post it on like a random Wednesday. I just like don't want to continuously stress myself out with stuff. I'm also not gonna lie, uh, that whole high I had before of, you know, the whole getting my life together and stuff, I'm still very much working on that, but I am feeling the, I don't know, depression slash burnt outness starting to, to seep back in a little bit. Granted, I am aware of it, so that's, that's good. How does that even make sense? What? Listen to this. Okay, get your phone block or a small towel, put the block against the wall and your knee on top of it, so your shin and foot are vertical. Oh, okay. So like, excuse me. I was eating these at like midnight. Okay, so foot against the wall like that. And then, no, this is bad. This is awful. I actually, okay, get your knee there. I hate this. They said stand up straight. Bitch, I can't go farther than that. Oh my God. <laughs> Please, I feel like I'm being so dramatic right now, but like honestly, what the fuck? No, I don't like that. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a foam towel, but I do have that. Okay, so that there. Oh, okay, okay, that's so much better with the fucking pillow there, but this is still awful and I fucking hate this, holy shit. Ow, 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 ow. Anyways, I'm not even gonna time this, I'm just gonna kinda do it till it hurts. Um, yeah, that's my dilemma on that. That's probably why this video is just gonna be like, yeah, it's just gonna be that, and that's probably just gonna be this, like, me talking and shit. But you know what, that's fine, but not exactly the, the, the quality content I would like to make. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I feel like a fucking grandma. Oh, this one hurts. This one hurts. I don't like this. Okay. <sighs> the fact that this is making me sweat right now is ridiculous. <sighs> so yeah. <coughs> Can you focus on me, please? That'd be great. Honestly, like doing that against the wall, I feel like I blacked out, so I don't even remember what I was talking about. But what I can say right now is a uh, mundane little life, but I like the routine, keeps me stable. It also helps to keep me like on track and stuff. It just makes it difficult because if I'm gonna vlog stuff, like I don't wanna keep doing like the, the same repetitive things. It's like I wake up, I read, I get coffee, I do my stretches, I get ready, I eat breakfast, I go to work, I come home, or sometimes I will go to the grocery store or something. I come home, I work out, or I do yoga, I shower, or I take a bath, and then I get on my computer and I either edit or I just game the entire night, and then I go to bed. Like, <laughs> so it's like there's only so many, so many times I can like show the same stuff. I was thinking of maybe something I could do is just kind of do like a, a week of just recording things randomly here and there, actual interesting things, if they so happen to happen, and then I can uh, just compile everything together and that can be an idea. And I do have like sit down video ideas, but like I said, it's the whole daunting task and concept of having to make sure that I am up and awake and ready on time and that I have enough time to film before I go to work. I'm not, I'm fine with like missing breakfast and stuff in the morning. That's whatever. I can just eat something really quick or like stop at stop somewhere before I go to work, but it's just the process of like having to set everything up and then having to take everything back down. And I just feel like I'm repeating myself. Um Anyways, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah, content stuff. That being said though, I am also kind of just like waiting for stuff to happen in the sense that I do have plans, so the the oddities and curiosities convention thing, I don't really know exactly what it's called. That's coming to Milwaukee uh, sometime at the end of March. So my friend and I are gonna go on a Sunday. So I'm hoping like to vlog that. Oh my God, the string moved in my pants, freaked me out. And honestly, I'm pretty excited for that because I need more weird, kooky, creepy things in my room. It's been too long since I've collected a mouse skeleton and I only have two, and I just need more, you know? Sometimes I forget that I have that. I should probably show people that more, just because it's funny. Anyways, um, there's that. And then on June 1st, which is a Saturday, and this is all in, in the same week too. So like Sunday, I'm going to the Oddities thing, and then the Saturday after that, I'm going to Chicago for my tattoo. My friend's coming with, because I am a little baby, and I'm kind of scared to drive to Chicago by myself, okay? I don't like going new places by myself, it freaks me out. But yeah, I did uh, like message the artist and everything and was like, hey, like, is it cool if my friend comes with? Because obviously I know some shops have like policies against that or they just like find it inconvenient. And you know, I was like, no big deal. If not, they can just go sit at a coffee shop and draw. Like they have no problem with that. And my artist was like, no, it's fine. Like she can come and go as she, as she pleases. So yeah, doing that, excited for that. Um, I do also want to get another tattoo lined up and then also I emailed my hairdresser, the chick who cut my hair and I want to get something 
different. I'm thinking of doing like a color block situation type of deal. So like I used to have like split hair and I want to do that again, but not fully. I only want like the first like quadrant of like my right side to be blonde. And then I want to do like a peekaboo blonde situation on the other side. So that's kind of like symmetrical at the bottom, if that makes sense. So yeah, there's just a lot of things that I like want to do and that I am excited for. It's just a matter of, I don't know, like getting it done. I also, ugh, I had my endoscopy, if that's how you say it, endoscopy, whatever. And they did have to stretch out my throat a little bit. And like, I was fine for like the day or two afterwards. Actually, no, not the day or two. I was fine for like almost a week afterwards. And then just like randomly my throat started feeling like really weird. And of course I messaged my doctor and literally the day after I messaged him, it like stopped happening. But even still, he was like, I want to like get you a CT scan. And I'm just like, <laughs> Uh, I have had so many medical things wrong with me my entire life and I've been like pretty much chronically ill since I was like 19 but like god damn I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to like the constant fucking like tests and procedures and it's not like that's like a big deal to me like I, I'm not bothered by having to do it it's more so just like the money concept <sighs> So like I feel like other people, like, if they have the means to live on their own and stuff, they live paycheck to paycheck because they're, like, paying bills, buying food, all that fun stuff. Whereas it's, like, I feel like I'm living paycheck to paycheck because my body is fucking breaking down and I'm constantly having to pay to, like, get it fixed. So it's kind of frustrating, but whatever. I'm not here to complain. Not that I'm complaining, but yeah. I guess I just wanted to come on here and just, yeah, give a little... Give a little update, give a little chatty chat, talky talky. Do it a little bit differently this time, a little more relaxed rather than like while I'm doing my makeup or something. And you know what, you guys, you guys seem to like the last video that I posted where it was like, uh, clean with me while I'm on FaceTime or whatever the fuck it was. So why not? It got a good response, reception. So hopefully this is nice and relaxing for you guys also. It could be stretch with me like we're on FaceTime. <laughs> All right, yeah. So that being said, I gotta go get ready and start to repeat the same shit that I always do every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, my knee cracked.